Explicit content. Come find me. I'll hit you with a potion, man. All we do is grind. Trying to get me in my dream, but all my demons died out. I feel so alive now. You can't kill my vibe now. You can't bring my heart now. I can feel the energy, and yes, the past is history. Heavy meditation keeping me away from misery. Walking through the galaxy when I wake up back to reality. I get so fucking high. I can't feel anything. Light another blunt, all my problems start to train. Henny in my cup, cause it numbs my brain. I'm so fucked up that I can't think. I'm so fucked up that I can't think. I get high, everything is okay. Even though I'm high every second of the day. Yeah, I've been through this before, I saw a sister replay. Yeah, I wake up in the morning and I do the same thing. I get high, everything is okay. Even though I'm high every second of the day, yeah, I've been through this before, so it's just a replay. Yeah, I wake up in the morning and I do the same thing. I get high, everything is okay. Even though I'm high every second of the day, yeah, I've been through this before, so it's just a replay. Yeah, I wake up in the morning and I do the same thing. I get high, everything is okay. Even though I'm high every second. Of the day, yeah, I've been through this before, so it's Stay just a replay. Really? Yeah, I wake up in the morning and I do Wait, the same thing. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I said good morning, a jerk off. So how is everybody? What is up? T Rups in the house. His house, that is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. DJ T Rup in the building, you know what I'm saying? DJ T Rup. Good to see you, sir. Good to Ooh. see you, Geisberg. I have your tickets for I got, uh, Friday, by the way, are in my possession. I got the hair of a Spanish model. What's up, Kristen Booth? Good morning. Good morning, Naughty Nikki. Hello. I still got an inside bruised leg. It's crazy. It still hurts. Well, Why? Because I fucking, I told you, I leaned over that couch and oh, it's just okay. bruised all the way down. It, it really yo, yo, does yo, hurt. what's up, Michigan native? Good to see you. Hello, Fall mate. Asleep. So, so, what'd you do yesterday? Tell me. Oh, uh, shit, I came home and guess what? Chicken butt. <laughs> Remember how I said, oh my God, I'm going home. My wife just woke up. Uh, and and she don't have to work tonight. She did. So we come home and she's like, "Well, at six a.m., my bosses came up to me, so I felt a little bit scared. Thought they were gonna like yell at me." And they said, "What?" Okay, I think she we walked know, back in. We all know T Rup does not know how to tell a real life story. Well, she, you know how, you know how she's all. <laughs> they were gonna it, yell it's at me. It's like, hey, we had a couple questions, and T Rup's like, okay, so we were all fall the part. We had, we came to a brick wall. We didn't know what to do, and it's like, no, bud. All we were was asking questions. 
I was at a brick wall. <laughs> yeah. I was there. Yeah. Nobody else was, but I was right there. I didn't even see a brick wall. <laughs> uh, no, she. What up, CSL? Good morning. Good morning, think... squirrels. Glitter bombs. Babe, tell me if this is right. So I think she she was coming back in from like her 430 break. She was all tired and her bosses were like, hey, do you want to work over in GM? And then Jess was just, she was just tired and fucking, yeah, sure, I will. I'll, I'll work there. But she thought they were saying for today, like, do you want to finish the work? And then she ended up like, oh, okay, I guess I'm working tomorrow. Right? Yeah, yeah okay, I was right. That was right. <laughs> My first story was a lot cooler. But yeah, she she walked back in. They just they're... no one about to yell at me. I thought they were telling me a secret because they were whispering. <laughs> we need somebody to work. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can trick Jess into working. <laughs> What's up, Sally Bongs? Good morning, Sal from SoCal. Look how pretty Sal his picture is. See how pretty it is. I always love his pictures. He looks so inviting. He makes California look beautiful. Yeah, but I was right the second time. Shit, I went over and uh, seen my dad yesterday. Went over and seen my uh, sister. What else did we do? That was about it. We picked up my son from his grandma's. About damn time. He was gone for a week. This motherfucker comes in my house after being gone for five days and says, oh, my God, the cat or little man got bigger. And we were like, you were gone for six days, dude. That was only a couple days, wasn't it? Yeah. So, so listen, Josh, Caden come home last night. He was at his grandma's for six days. I heard you. Yeah, okay. And he came back and was like, dude, little man's way bigger. And we're like, what do you fucking mean? Little man got huge. You weren't gone for a couple of years, dude. He's like, well, I seen little man for uh, about a year. And Jess is like, over a year. <laughs> well he's over old, a year. He's full grown. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, dude, it's not like you came home and fucking the future. You know, like you came home, you time traveled while you came home. Hi, I'm a time traveler. I gain weight. That's why I'm so big. I time travel a lot. Yep. It's funny, though. If I was a time traveler, like say I went back in the time, back in time. Yeah. I wouldn't know anything. Like they'd be like, prove to me you're from back in the day. And I'd be like, or you're from the future. And I'd be like, I can't. Obama's the president in 70 years. <laughs> That's about all I got. <laughs> yeah, I would not want to be sending you to the future or the past. Yep. They'd be like, dude, I'd be like, bro, we got like so, so cool shit, bro. <laughs> you guys are using They'd be like, and- dude, you like, bro. And he'd be like, dude, he'd be like, bro. <laughs> They'd be riding around in horses. I'd be like, dude, it's a lot more cooler when you just plug a key into a car and go, what's a fucking car? Do you know how they make it? And I'd be like, actually, just keep going with the horses, dude. You guys are doing good. <laughs> real, real life, I wish we would go back to horses. I really do. It'd be, it'd suck. Kind of. It'd be less, it'd be less convenient, but. It would be less convenient for long trips. You wouldn't be able to go on a trip up north and shit. Well, it was, I, I need at least two horses. I mean, it would take you days. I need minimum two horses to cart my my kids and me around. Minimum? Yeah, you're putting Eli on your fucking horse, and then you're putting Adrian and Lily on their own horse. Yep. And that's, yeah. Fuck, dude. If you throw Nikki into it, if you're having a whole family day, <laughs> you got to get her a whole nother horse. And you know she's weird. She's going to want to get a white horse so she can paint it. That that She can get her own horse. Yeah. <laughs> Find your own. I'm dad. I only need two. 
I bought two. Okay. What up, bad guy lock? Yeah, she would. Yeah, and it would be hard to get her a horse. She would want. I just want it all white so I can paint it my own colors. No, she'd probably want it black, all black. And then put like neon colors she's, on it. She's a pretty gothic pirate. I've been call. I've been calling her the gothic pirate since nineteen. Since since 2012. <laughs> he said since night. You know what? I'm going to go real. I'm going to go real here. Is that when you met her? 2012? No, I don't remember what the date, what year it was. 2012 is, uh, no, I met her way before that. 2012 is when, I believe when Eli was born. Or Lily. Lily was born in 2012. So you would have met her in like, because you met her right, like, Adrian was born in 08. So you met her between 08 and 12. Yeah. What Probably. up, Jake Elmer? Didn't you make it? What up, Did... Sal? Sal says bringing back the hot air balloons every morning here in uh, Tamka, California. Temkula? Temkula. Temkula. Temicula, California. Balloons are in the sky. He said, I love that. We do they do that around here sometimes. Well, a little north of here, but you blow me up real good. I could probably float somewhere. Ah, it'd be rough to have you float. I'm dense. Is it because I'm dense? But what if like that was just a good, you know, if you pump me with air, I would just be really buoyant. Because I'm so big, it'd be like a Kevlar suit around the balloon. Would it? Yeah. Um, Dude, what else did I do? I went over Dad's, came back home, was going to stream the game, and then, uh, lo and behold, I seen the slow Loris, and I fell asleep listening to shit about it. And for some odd reason, I don't know what the fuck, that sauna fucked me up yesterday. Yeah, and I didn't, we didn't even push hard. We didn't, and that's the thing. I, I don't, maybe I didn't drink enough water before I went, or something. I as don't soon know. Because you got in there, you're like, oh, it's hot this morning. Yeah, I, I felt, and the, but I felt good when I was sweating, and I felt good all the way to the way out. But then my fucking knee hurt. Remember, I told you my knee hurts worse going coming out of the sauna. And I still did the same thing, and I fucking came out, and I don't know, dude. I was fucking trashed yesterday. I don't know what the fuck the it whole was. Rest of the day? Yeah, my mind wasn't fucked up or nothing. It wasn't like no mental health problem, I, I don't That's think. It's a mental health problem. I didn't, like, push it myself sure too hard. It was a mental health problem. You're mentally weak, so you couldn't take the sauna. Fuck. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think I don't know. I I didn't feel bad. You until, actually have pain. It was yeah. pain. Do you think it was pain? Why it made me go to sleep? Was it nerves? Yeah, pain will make you go to sleep, make you tired because your body's constantly trying to fix stuff. We did talk about a lot of things. It could have been mental health because like stacking shit on top of shit. Dude, we had a big day yesterday. We had we, a lot. We had literally from the time we woke up, we and the time you went to sleep we were busy there was like 17 fucking there were 17 ideas thrown and they were all really Fire. good ideas dude i mean summer's Ice about your to, knee when you get home i do i go into no, cold you don't. water i cold water it after the sauna but i don't do it for a you long didn't time. yesterday i fucking thought i did i had cold water running i didn't let it run on the knee like i usually do is what happened you did not yesterday, sir. How you yeah, bro. pumpkin face? <laughs> I had to wake up and eat He's some jack o' lantern over there. <laughs> I had to eat some uh, I eat pur this pur morning. little jack o' lantern. All you gotta do is light them up and they'll glow. Yeah, I had to fucking I had a headache and my knee hurt this morning, so I just ate a whole bunch of ibuprofen. I'm gonna be fucking. I'm going to be unswollen in a minute here, boys. I'm going to be profing. Yeah. Dude, uh, you going to the sauna after this? You know I am. Good. What's good. today, Thursday? Yep. It's a Thursday. I don't it's know. Thursday. I'm going to hang out with my kids today. They've been 
and Hawking Hills all week with their mom. Ooh, really? That that's what uh Nikki was sharing. They were doing a whole bunch of fun shit, looked yeah. like. Yep. Ooh, they went to Hawking Hills. This is the perfect time to go because it's like a little bit chilly. You could have a little fucking sweatshirt on. When it's hot and you're trucking through those woods and it's all humid and shit, it's really it's hard. No, it's pretty easy. It's just, you know, because the woods, I feel like the wood, when you're in the woods and it's really humid, it's super thick in the woods. Like the trees keep the humidity real good, you know? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. But I love it, dude. Swamp, swamp land is the best land out there, bro. Call me swamp thing. I'll lay down and fucking be a bush, motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, there's a random bush in the middle of the swamp. <laughs> I oh, think no, it's a dead crazy. human. <laughs> that's just Josh. That's, that's Josh, Josh floating face down in the water. I don't I don't know what he's trying to do. I want to be a bush on top of the water and see if the minnows try to take bites of me. Watch me be moss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna turn this suit into moss and watch this. <laughs> it's algae now. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a good time. Uh we had a squirrel. I did some research about the park next door and who owns it and stuff. And it just so happens it's a, a club of ladies. And they just so happen to have the same outlook on helping and serving the community as we do. You talk to them? Nope. But I researched them last night. I like it. Oh, I, found I, like out, it. I found out who runs. I found out who I need to talk to last night, though. You found out the avenue. Yes, sir. I cr I created the, my, an avenue in my brain. And then I found the beaten path, but I had to make a path to the path. We're still honest. building this avenue, but I have found the way. I have a group photo shoot in Hocking Hills in May. Nice. That's going to be fun, Nikki. It's going to be really fun. It's really good fucking. Is that uh, when it's wet? Uh, and there's waterfalls actually working. Oh, and that waterfall is going to be thick, too. It's when, every nice. time I've gone, there's only been, like, a couple waterfalls barely moving. We went in midsummer and summer type shit, you know? Slow Loris. Slow Loris, yeah. Slow Tyler, I'm like the same thing. Slyler. There's a... There's... You guys are not going to like this one. What, the slow Tyler? Yeah, the slow Loris. Oh. Slow Loris. Slow Loris. <laughs> no, slow Tyler, you got to deal with him every fucking day. Every morning at 10 a.m., you'll get to deal with uh, slow Tyler. <laughs> mm. Opening day today at baseball. I'm excited. So what now? Opening day. The first day of the baseball season starts today. A bit. Fuck, who knows? Detroit Tigers. Are they any worth any good? We'll see. Last year, they only won 77 games. Don't you need to win like 89 to be in the playoffs? Oh, it's tomorrow, Victoria says. I thought it was today. Huh. Is uh, the season starting today in other teams, or is it tomorrow everybody plays? Good Good question. I, good question. I know the Mud Hens se season started yesterday. Or the day before, sometime this week. Good morning, Victoria. Good Opening. morning, Jody. Hello. Jody Moon. Good morning, Jerk Offs. We are very well. Tyler is sore. He's a sore butt always. No, I was bitching about how busy we were, and we kept getting fucking busier. Yeah, that's what happens. Oh my gosh, dude. That's what <laughs> happens when you grow a company, you know, grow a business. Yeah, dude, he's a, a fucking meeting all the time, dude. Usually when I would work, <laughs> I would just go to work and work. I never had to go to a meeting. Now I got to go to meetings all the fucking time. <laughs> all day long we had. Yeah, I was literally napping when Jake come up in the office yesterday. I was trying to nap listening to a music. I was just trying to just take it. He said, hey, man, I, I always like to show up a little bit early. I said, motherfucker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? This is bullshit, dude. Oh, I got to listen. 
I had to listen to a boring song every day for the next. You po- you picked it. So no, don't cry about the boat that you've built. I make a lot of boats, and I bitch about it the entire time. Yes. We're floating on it. This ain't going to work. They're sinking right now. There's water in the boat. <laughs> there is water. T-Rep, it's because you got out of the boat and brought T-Rep. water back in. T-Rep. It's because you pissed your pants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this ocean water is very yellow, and I don't like it. We'll dude. take a shower. Yeah. Go, go bathe in the water, dude. What up, Night oh, Train yeah. 420 somewhere, he says. Dude, let's just put it this way. If we were Vikings back in the day, you guys would make a personal raft for me. Dude, you'd be dead and already. tow me. You'd you would be dead t- already. <laughs> no, I'd be a king. You already no, know. you wouldn't. It. You're a cripple. I, I would be a king because I was big before I got crippled. Yeah, but. And then I had uh, to, the, some of the dumbest choices a man could make. You would be dead. I'd be a fucking king, dude. What up, Spooky? What up, Stelios? How you doing this morning? Good to hey, see you. Hey, crippled. I don't have to do shit if I'm a king. Hey, you're not Ivar, the boneless. I'm you? I'm T Rup, the fucking cracked bone. You're you're T Rup. You would be like T Rup. You know how Hodor. You know T Rup, the brainless. Yeah. <laughs> you remember Hodor from Game of Thrones? Yeah. That's you. Yeah, that's Ivar you. was a king and a cripple. Actually, that's not you because you can't even hold the door. Your your legs aren't strong enough to to hold the door. Ivar was a king and yeah, I know, but T Rup's not him. Yeah, but I would have been the biggest dude in the village until I was twenty five and hit a carriage and crippled myself. That that means you were the biggest target. Yeah, but I'd have a giant fucking hammer. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, dude, you would just be a peasant. You weren't Ouch. even strong enough to to throw that hammer. Yeah, back in the back back before I hit that carriage, that Dodge carriage van, I <laughs> I was riding my horse. And I wasn't paying attention, and I smacked the back of a carriage. I told you not to ride that, Steve Beaton. <laughs> it's like, he he was a wild stallion. Luckily, I was a king before that. Mm-hmm. I was King Titus. King Dickhead. <laughs> Dude, the most tyrannical t- king was was uh, Tyler the Brainless. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't even know what to do, bro. We wanted to go rape and pillage. He wanted to plant more flowers. <laughs> if you don't know, we can't plant flowers. <laughs> King Toxic T. King fucking King Tyler the Brainless. <laughs> yeah, you you I feel like if in Denmark there's no good fucking places to grow. We planted wildflowers and they wouldn't grow. And then he got mad at us, and then he would make us all slaves, and then there was nobody left. Dude, you couldn't make me a slave. Not a chance. I sent a G to a slave. Done. Done. What are you going to do? Yes. That's what I'm going to do. Um, Today, we have... Today, we have jazz hour. With Josh, we've had talk like this the whole time. No songs are going to be played. We're just going to talk about T Rup's life. T Rup, how forgot. fucking boring! T Rup even forgot he could bring himself on. Shut <laughs> up, dude. I did. I was sitting there. I was like, when is he going to bring me on? <laughs> and then I, I hovered over my say, my 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 picture and it said, add the stream. I was like, oh, yeah, I am. How does he expect us to follow his religion? Dude. So gonna, he's going to, he expects Terry Sprinkler to spread the word. All of you are Tyler's and there's a Terry. It's Terry's going to sprinkle, sprinkle some Tyler all over the world. Mm-hmm. Spread Tyler one day at a time. And Betty White, we trust. Long live Betty White. Long live Betty White. (laughs) 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 That's our call. 
Why, why does it sound hey, like a, there's a whole bunch of turkeys coming? Every time I go to the zoo, I get to the turkey and I do that to him and he puffs up and does it back. Because he's fucking, you're about as tall as a turkey. He's like, Dog. yeah, my territory. Yeah. Bitch. I got the like, biggest neck here. He said, he said blow up. You don't even have a gizzard, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> taste, of, taste of. I hey, hope. We just dropped a whole new episode. Yeah, I hope to God. Up. That we have this for a spotlight today. Oh yeah, you because know this is this is a great. I this is my. I love this one. This is a good one. Your favorite one, so yes, far. it it is. It's pretty cool. I just <laughs> I like the whole fucking thing, dude. And if you see the video, you can see me in there just grabbing shit off of a plate, stuff in my face. <laughs> and it's funny. I'm not gonna show you. Um, I taste know. of. We go around, we show you a little bit of the, the culture, a little bit of, of an activity to do, and then we <sighs> show you a little bit of the food of these these uh, restaurants around our area, around everything. You know, we're making it better and better and better every time. Season season two is great. <laughs> next week, uh, where are we going next week, Josh? Oh, uh, we're going to that place that we had dinner at, at your grandpa's funeral, right? I think so. Angelo's. Angelo's? Oh, dude. I believe so. That's going to be a good episode, too, because they got some good-ass food. Yeah, Angelo's has great food. Shout out, Spooky. That was a good-ass fucking video. Yep, Spooky, Spooky. Can we'll, show, we'll show you the video here in about a half hour or so, a little less, 15 minutes. K and K Creations. This is Kayla. Uh, she makes she makes fucking everything. Specializes in tumblers and bong tumblers. She can make you a, a weed tray. She can make you a a beautiful little ashtray that matches. She uh, everything that she does. She she takes a lot of time into it and she challenges herself all the time. This is she does great work. Hit her she up. She challenges herself all the time. She challenges herself all the time. Her link. To her Facebook page is above or below, depending on Facebook or YouTube, okay? Ooh, my God. I'm sweating like bad right now. We handle candles, baby. The official anti t rup smell of your house. If I come over, everybody wants me over their house, but nobody wants the stench I leave behind. So what you got to do is hit up We Handle Candles, and you got to get one of these motherfuckers because it'll be like I never came over. And everybody wants that. Everybody. <laughs> you can erase the you can erase the tins altogether. Um hit these guys up, they make the rooms over, he sits on your couch, he dents that boy up mm -hmm. first time sitting it, there, and then it smells for a week. It's got a tinge on it. He forgets <laughs> to wipe sometimes, or you know, sometimes he's too big. It's hard to get back there sometimes, guys. Um Development group, 30 to 90 second video promoting your business, what you're doing. Uh, hit these guys up. They will come through, <clears throat> get it recorded, and get out of there and have you a beautiful video. Real quick, real good. This is two of the best guys you can work with in town, I promise you. Um, they're above and below if you want to hit them up. What's up? Uh, fuck. Gammon. Gammons, sorry. <laughs> I was looking over here at the sponsors list at the same time, and the name just. <laughs> what up, Little Brown Drug Drugging? Little Brown Jugging? Uh, Little Brown Jug. Uh, stay tuned because we're going to have the taste of episode of the Little Brown Jug. These guys. <laughs> woo! Yep. You're going to. For our spotlight, we have the newest episode of Taste of, which spotlights a little the brown little jug. brown jug, the friendliest place in town. That is no joke. That is no cap. No cap, baby. There's no caps around this motherfucker. Um, <laughs> you're going to love the fucking video. This place is, you're going to love this place. I need you to go out here and at least try and you're it. You're going to love the owner, Jeff. He's yep. become a friend of ours, and, and that dude is great, dude. He's a Very great dude. The positivity going through that guy is is fucking unreal. 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 <laughs> He's just like, he buzzes, dude. He also owns Village Pizza Company. Out there, and maybe if you want to get a good-ass pizza, 
homemade dough, homemade sauce. Oh, the Go out there, get you a little a little pizza, pizza, have yeah, a little please. fun out, and maybe, dude, it's the friendliest village in the world. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but dude, <laughs> if you're even hungry, hungry like T Rup is all the time, you can leave a little brown jug and go right to get a fucking fat pizza for a midnight snack, baby. It's delicious, uh, delicioso. <sighs> Everything's made fresh. At Little Brown Jug and Village Pizza, they use the freshest ingredients from the people in town. So, like Little Brown Jug, they get their they get their uh, meat from Danny's, which is right down the road from us here. They listen. They buy their shit locally, fresh and local. This is good food, okay? Crazy, Crazy squirrels. squirrels and graphics. Uh. Okay, this is the guy. If you see an IWR poster, where I see more cannabis walking around Monroe, you're just like, oh, IWR, look at how cool Rhino looks. Look at how cool Connor looks. He's scary. Hey, look at how cool Heath Slater looks in that poster. Yeah. Crazy Squirrel, oh, you know, Heath Slater got kids. Uh, Crazy Squirrel Graphics did all them fucking posters. If you got some trading cards of these wrestlers from IWR, Trey Miguel, <laughs> Sam <laughs> Beal, the Silly Goose himself. Penny Dude, Urban. Cra uh, Crazy Squirrel did all them trading cards, man. He Hit him up. He's a graphic designer. He will get you right. Uh, he's good. Yep, he sure will. Is there a homeless man in your yard? I hope not, because I'm talking to the homeless man on live right now. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. Uh, Great Lakes Lawn Service. Spring's coming. Your grass is a shooting. <laughs> grass is trying to go to the sun, buddy. You're going to want these guys to come over and give your grass a fucking nice fade. You want to get it a fade, you know, because you might have some I would, people. What if I want my grass to have a bowl cut? Then you're a loser. Oh. Okay? <laughs> you know, uh, great, Lake, great Lakes Lawn Service. They got great rates, quality fucking service. They will get you right. Hit them up. There's their email and those two numbers right there. Call them and tell them, hey, man, it's springtime. What the fuck? My whoa, grass whoa. is long, dude. Yeah, boy. Oh, links above and below. Nerdy Designs, the official. The nerdiest of designs -iest. Yep. This dude, great backstory, great everything. This dude makes great work. He's made <laughs> every fucking time you do that, and it pisses me off just a little bit more. Um, he's actually in the process of dealing with. <laughs> Stop it, <laughs> dude! You can't do that to me. All right, uh, he's actually in the process of making a website for. This is so funny. <laughs> he's making a website for us. He's a graphic designer. He works with really good people. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Dude. <laughs> I'm sweaty. You can't do this. <laughs> Nerdy designs. Hey, what did the D say? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did the D say? Hey, fuck you, D Rup. Hey, D is for dickhead. D is for distraction. It says a mild vodka. A mild vodka. Do you uh drink stuff with your pinky up? <laughs> sure do. Just well, like silly goose. Well, then you need to. Get some eight mile vodka. This this is the most premium vodka I've ever tasted. I am not a drinker, but if you offer me a glass, I am taking a glass. The best way to drink eight mile vodka is eight mile lemonade. That is the Mikey Shoemaker thing. He showed drink special drink. He showed us it on the podcast, and I'll tell you what, I haven't yet stopped drinking it. Every time I see it, I want some lemonade and some 8 Mile, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's pretty good. The other day at the boxing match, I got some 8 Mile brought to me, and guess what? It was 8 Mile only. Straight, I know. you. <laughs> and, and I had a lemon and a lime with it that came Ooh, with it. I that might have been very I good. I squeezed them in, and then I, I put, my, put them in their cup. And I took my straw and I mashed that shit up as best I could. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. Know. It was good enough. I, mind you, he's not an alcohol drinker at all. Mind you, it, it could have been way worse. 
Yeah. I've had vodkas that have made me go. <laughs> right when you, yeah, it smells like rubbing alcohol. This shit, this, this eight mile vodka is what awesome. What up, Yeti? What up? I got the How's Amanda? How do you know a Yeti sounds like that? T Rup? Because Tupaco? That's not a Yeti. That's a. That's <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to sound like that or like this. <laughs> That's what it's going to sound like. Pro wrestling. Et- <sighs> you don't think he would know English? Maybe he knows some English. Pro wrestling edge. Uh, Pro wrestling edge where T-Rup definitely can't go wrestle because he's fragile. <sighs> uh, they do a podcast. They do about wrestling they do a podcast about mental health they do a podcast about sports pro wrestling edge is their uh, wrestling podcast edge of the mind is their mental health podcast you can check them out on every single listening platform there is pro wrestling edge.com pro wrestling edge uh go get their t-shirts they got our flag in the background of their t-shirt called the other guys see t-rup had to go to the uh to the nurse you see that he had to leave he had to leave the game and go to the injury tent and that is a thank you from our sponsors and t-rup's about to miss his pot Cause it is time. This is the Earth Dweller. Earth Dweller. Oh, okay, boys. See what's walking See what's on the earth. Okay. 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 But the Earth Dweller of the day. What? Hello. Hello, guys, and welcome to the Earth Dweller of the day. Today, we are spotlighting the slow loris on the Earth Dweller of the day. Yeah, boy. Um. Oh cool shit! Thing. It's a night train. What up, night train? Uh, this is <laughs> in Dutch. The name "Slow Loris" means "slow clown." I can see it. Yeah, this is you are slow Loris. He lo- <laughs> no, they're way too little. Um, it's uh, it's considered a mammal with supernatural po- powers, and I'm going to tell you why here in a second. It's very slow moving. That's hence the name Slow Loris. Uh, gets about 10 inches tall. Gets up to five pounds. That, that's a fat boy. Um, let's see. It, it started its evolution into a slow Loris, like into this, what we're looking at right now, 40 million years ago. Um, these things are actually opposite. They live 25 years in the wild. They only live 20 years in captivity because it is torture to keep these as a pet. I know they're cute, but it is torture. Actual light does hurt them. It hurts their eyes. It hurts it, it hurts them. Oh, so they need to be in the dark? Yes, and people well, want to all take these pictures were taken in the day. Yeah, I know, right? Well, really? people them people, eyes is wide open. A lot of people like one of these as as pets, but I'll tell you, in order to keep them as pets, they have to be detoothed and cut their fingers off so they don't have claws. Um, because these are the only poisonous primate in the world. They're poisonous. Huh? Poisonous. I'll tell you how. Are they po- venomous, you mean? They're, uh, hold on. I'll... Poison means if I eat it, I'll die. Venom no, no. Means if it bites me, I die. Venomous. Yep. Okay. It's a toxin. <laughs> it's a toxin. There he, he has me, toxins. He'll have it done right. <laughs> he has toxic in his in his saliva, and he has toxic in glands under his armpit. This he'll, is a slow. You are a slow, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. He has toxic in his on his chin. Yeah. So <laughs> and so he what he'll do is this. And then he'll scratch his uh, armpits, get that gland going, and then he'll put his hands in his mouth. When the t- the toxic, the the toxins mix in his mouth, that makes his bite uh, uh, venomous. And then it can actually. There's only one case where somebody got bit, 
and he died from it. And but that was because he was uh, allergic to cats. And this has a similar the the toxin has a similar like to like cat dander kind of. I'm gonna stuff. be honest. You got a new nickname, buddy. Slow Loris. Yep. Cool. Um, that should be your your gamer tag. Slow Loris, Slow yeah. Loris 95. That's like one um, step above sloth, right? <laughs> <laughs> Found in Southeast Asian countries like India, China, Sri Lanka. Um, it's, it's Sri Lanka. It's, it's Sri Lanka. It's insectivorous, but it feeds on uh, veggies as well. Okay. Um, Difficult to know the history of its evolution because very few fossils of this are found. They have very little, like, light, uh, lightweight bones and stuff like that. Um, they mate twice a year, and they're, they're mature after one year. So, yeah. Listen to this. So, it's, it's venomous, right? When it mixes that. There's a gland in the arms, like I told you already. And when it's mixed with the saliva is the only time it works because there's a chemical reaction that happens. When the mom, the mom doesn't carry the babies on it when it goes and hunts for food to feed its babies to, you know, to get more milk. What it does is it takes its glands and it makes the poison and it licks its baby. So its whole entire baby at that point is toxic. If you eat that fucker, you will die. Well, animal wise. Um, it's nocturnal. They have gorilla like grip. They can <clears throat> hold on to something. They can't all the way wrap their hand around, like hold on to just a piece of tree and hang upside down and eat for hours, hours on end. Um, there's a, they're critically endangered. And that is because these things are so cute. People want to, uh, people want these as pets. And because they put their arms up like this, they think, oh, they love tickling it. That is torture. That is literally not what it wants to do. The reason why it's putting its arms up is because it's activating its glands. And it's going to activate the glands, eat that shit, and bite your face off. Toxic but, activate. Yep. But I will tell you that in order for them to get out in the pet trade, they got to get their fingers snipped off. They got to get their teeth ripped out of their mouth. And they won't live as long because they are literally stressed out the entire time they're alive. So. It would be too. Yeah. Don't fucking buy one of these as a pet. Just look at it and think it's cute. It's so cute. It is. But having it's it as a pet. Naughty. You'll literally kill it if you have it as a pet. <coughs> yeah. So That's usually it's what happens when people have pets. You're right. They kill him. Yep. Oh my oh. god, love it! And that's the Earth Dweller of the Day. I got to open my phone up to that. It's so cute. Okay. Yeah, Jody's gonna be one of the ones that get this thing, and it's just gonna be sad its whole life. I wouldn't. I'm not a good pet owner, and I've accepted that, and I know that. So. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Oh, man. Boom, boom, sugar, boom, boom. I'm excited for the I don't know. spotlight of the day today. Night Train, what's up, bro? You on break? Yeah, I decided to come out and take an early nicotine break, you know? Yeah, you, we always like those, huh? We just need a little bit of... I, the, my help didn't even show up yet today, so I'm like, fuck it, dude. I'm in there by myself working, fuck. Take breaks whenever I want to today. I gotta go home early anyway because I gotta go to a fucking funeral today. Damn. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. To that. I can't stand. A buddy of mine decided he was he was cool and wanted to keep playing around with drugs and this and that and running from cops and that freeze that we had through about a week or so ago. He fucking was running from the cops and ended up fucking hypothermia face down in a puddle. Damn. Jesus. So, well, Guess if you play the wrong way, fate comes too. You can't yeah. win them all, right? Shit. Life, life gives you what you catches give. Up. Yep, yeah. catches up to you. We get taking chances, but you know. But I'm gonna go support. I'm gonna go support the family and whatnot. They're good friends of mine anyway. So right. 
Hey, man, love is love, no matter how much really? fucking drugs the guy did or whatever, you know, love is love. Yeah, me and him go way back, probably 15, That's 20 true. years ago. I've had some people uh, that I know that were very significant about my my uh, growing up or my my right like in part of my life growing up and shit they died from ods but it's all the fucking i love i love these guys you know and it sucks they went that way but hey <coughs> people are just people man hmm? like we're human yeah, we you know, make you can't help it. sometimes it's hard to be a human and sometimes you don't know how to figure it out and there's very easy ways to figure it out when you're so fucked up that you don't really well feel that's why you gotta find people like the brain jerk family and get right yeah yep. right. think yes because we're I'm, well everybody's just looking out here to feel good that's mm -hmm. all right Every, you know feel good family baby who wants to see this video uh me for sure i want to see it again I already watched it like five times, but I want to. <laughs> I want more video of the guns. I know. <laughs> Welcome to the Little Brown Jug. My name is Jeff Ott. I'm the owner here. I've been here since I was, well, since I was 17 years old. Who's the old. drone guy? High school. Went to college for culinary arts, went to college for restaurant management. Okay. And eight years ago, I was blessed to be able to buy it. Yo, it's Ryan. I'm with Jeff Hot. We're out here in Southeast Michigan in the country, and we're going to shoot some guns and have an old-fashioned shootout. Devin, you ready? Am I? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I love that. Thanks. Over here, maybe, we're known as the friendliest place in town. We love our customers, we love our staff, and we try to treat you like friends, just like you are. We're here for the community, we love this community, and if there's anything that we can ever do for this community, just come talk to us and let us know. Gosh, this is so use only Danny's fine foods uh, for the ground beef for our hamburgers we use lake perch we have our award-winning barbecue bay back ribs mm. we have our one-of-a-kind charred prime rib mm. and of course, homemade macaroni and cheese with the homemade cheese sauce that's my wife and my sister getting down too from all of us here at the little brown jug and maybe we want to thank the crew of taste up we hope you all had a great time. Special thanks to, of course, Brain Jerk Entertainment, Eight Mile Vodka. We can't wait to see you at the friendliest place in town. Damn. A lot of producers in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Loved it. That was great. Spooky Spooky did it again. That was so awesome. And Jeff is like just so like one take is all like you know what I mean? He just gets on and flawless. Yep. Timmer says, Damn, I'm there. What's up, bud? How you That's doing? A good man? One. We had a comment on the video, and B Shank said that this shit looked like it was a, a documentary off of Discovery Channel. No, it's a documentary off the Brain Jerk Channel, baby. Woo! Fun yet? <laughs> I do like how it cut into that gun scene, though. Yeah. I like how it cut in and cut right out. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. I yeah. wish I would have got a gun scene and looked cool, though. I did. I looked super cool. Yeah, you I... looked real cool. You couldn't even shoot the thing. Doesn't matter. I shot that bitch <laughs> in that fucking picture right there. <laughs> At least it looked like you shot it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was too scared to shoot all guns. I shot the little pea shooter. Oh, little I was like, you shoot anything? Did I shoot? Anything? I've been shooting anything. 
Little girl, too big. You're a liar, Victoria. I'm not cool, though. It's me. Oh, you? Yeah, you're yeah. not that cool. I know. It's okay. I That's why I put all my cool friends on the camera. Yeah, it's because they put, you know, and they put the gun in my hands. They're like, dude, this dude looks like. We're like, tear up. Cool. Look, be here and be big and make this big gun look small. Yeah. <laughs> He went to shoot it twice, and both times it didn't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Go take off the safety. Yeah. <laughs> safety was off. It was, uh, it was a little jammed. Let's put it that way. <laughs> twice. Both times he tried to shoot. It was hilarious. It was funny. The one video we, we, we showed, it was me just tink. Well, it was a video of everybody shooting, right? There was boom, boom. It goes through three people shooting, and then it comes to tear up with this gun, and it says tink, and then it resets and says tink, and then it goes back to everybody else shooting again. Nope. So, of course, tear up didn't get a mission. Yeah. They don't load the gun for tear up. They don't. They don't trust tear up with a loaded gun. Tear up's so always they, comic they, relief, even when he doesn't mean to be. <laughs> Oh, should have put that in the video there. Tink, tink. Oh. Should have put that in there in, in the middle when they're shooting the guns. They, everybody, oh hell yeah, boom! He starts shooting, shooting, and you see T Rub, tink, tink, and it goes back to shooting again. Yeah. <laughs> they listen. I'm gonna tell you a secret about that. When they were shooting the guns, a loud one went off, <laughs> and it like sparked my anxiety and somebody was going to shoot it again so i ran to my truck and pretended like i was going to get my smoke pen but it was in my pocket the whole time because i couldn't deal with it right <laughs> and i went out to my truck and i was like dude you're a fucking man they're just guns and then <laughs> I, had to tell, I didn't tell nobody about that until we were leaving yeah, i told josh fireworks, bro. Yeah, i told josh i was like hey man I, I, the reason why I walked away. Look at this long-haired motherfucker with his hair down for the first time. I never wear my hair down. This what up? What up? <laughs> hey, we were. I was over at Only Noises track review last night for the damn near the whole show. I'd say. Yeah, you guys were tapped in. That was. Sweet. Hey, we. I brought in Mac Trey. I brought in uh, JD. I brought in Trash Dog. There was a. I forget. I think. Also I told, I told everybody that I knew that was a rapper, and, and some of them showed up. Um, also, I don't know. Were you in there when Carl Hudding's song is there? He's yep. from Monroe. Okay. No, I don't know him. Yeah, it, he's from Monroe. He um, he knows Dev really well. Okay. So, but yeah. It was a good show. It was not, not one single bad song. There's never usually bad songs on the track reviews. Everyone, think- we'll at least get one or two. I and still like, think JD or Trash Dog should have won the show last night, but that was a little bias. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's a little bias. <laughs> actually, Francois should have won it last night. Francois, Bro, like real life, Francois no all bias won. put aside. Francois should have won that last night. He should have. He, I, he was my vote to win, but I got outvoted by my chat. Yeah, you did. Yep. <laughs> Who won? Sleeko, um, two weeks Sleeko. in a row, bro. Yep. Sleeko is so good. Wow. He came in. He came out of nowhere like, hang on, I got this one. Threw it down, and, <laughs> and then he won. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Listen, guys. Now we all got to get together, make a crazy rap song. This dude can't be champion three weeks in a row, guys. Okay? <laughs> well, we've been thinking about making parody songs anyways of the people we know songs. Okay. Yeah, I'll kill it, bro. I'll kill yeah. it. Hey, you, yeah, can, still, Honestly, hey, you can though, still win a Grammy. Know. You can still win a Grammy off of a comedy record, baby. And and that honestly, it'll help push the regular song. Like you guys making a we know I've got all kinds of awards, right? Yep. I didn't think of it like that. I thought somebody wouldn't like that we spoofed their song. Um, honestly, we're like, now, we're out of his way to make sure that he artists. had copyright permissions and everything else from his artists, though. Yeah, that's a, like you. If you know the artist, I, I think it would be a little bit better. Like, like Amish could. Paradise, Amish Paradise. Uh, Coolio was pissed about that song, but <laughs> yeah. he, he still didn't, and and it's probably still his biggest song he's ever done for Weird Weirdo. See, but no. and I, I wonder how that works with I I. Uh, heard somebody mention the copyrights because whoever owns that beat, 
like you have to get permission to either do it or mm -hmm. the royalties can get paid to the copyright holder. So I wonder like if Weird Al actually made money from that song or if like Coolio yeah, actually money. went yeah, I seen it in interviews and whatnot where he actually went and talked to the artist to get the, the permissions for each of the songs and whatnot. Yeah. But you were saying Coolio, he didn't have permission to do Gangster's Paradise or Amish Paradise? When it first came out, Coolio was pissed, and then they've settled their differences since. I right. Coolio was just pissed, but his fucking people knew what they were doing and whatnot. They were well, like, it was yeah, making fun of his song, you know? It was making, yeah. it was straight up, He that was a straight up real song about gangsters and fucking heartfelt yeah. song to him. And then Coolio, I mean, then Weird Al just comes in and makes fun of it. <laughs> I actually saw a video on TikTok yesterday, and it was an Amish person showing another Amish person Amish paradise. <laughs> <laughs> and the dude's face, like, he just, like, kept being in, like, shock every time, like, it, it was, I don't know, it was funny. Is that how they think of us? <laughs> and the dude's face, like, yeah. He was... Oh, man. What are you up to today, Night Train? Oh Work. yeah, you called us. Yeah, that's yeah. right. How about you, Chris? Um, I actually, I just, I editing. <laughs> I just finished last track review show. I literally just exported the last little clip out of it. Now I got to start on last night's. Um, because they they take like two days pretty much to go through the three and a half, almost four hours of live and cutting. I cut the last. <laughs> live stream into 40 different TikToks. Oh, shit. Nice. That's yeah, that's awesome. So just try and, you know, recycle your content and get it out there. Cut it into little clips. I'm tagging everybody that, you know, that tuned in, that tapped in, like uh, I'm tagging them in the TikToks and whatnot. Well, like you said, you're you're over here creating content for them at that rate. Yeah. Really. Yeah. So, you probably get a lot better viewing that way too versus a long live stream for two, yeah. three hours or something, you know, four minute clip. People watch more of the video, so you'll end up getting better viewing. Yeah. And then like some of them are, you know, only a, a few seconds long or like quick little clips of people's songs. So if they like it, then they can go either, you know, go to YouTube and check out the whole show or go find that artist or whatever it may be. Hell yeah. Get to call you, Jody. Man. I was about to ask you guys the same thing, what you're up to. I'm the one asking the question. Terry asks, asks the questions <laughs> around here. You're not even Terry right now. <laughs> oh. um, I kind of have a headache, but I'm about to take some medicine, drink some coffee. The sun's out, so I'm, I don't know. I got some chores and some errands to finish up and do. Yep, definitely. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to hang out in the sun today. Oh. I just want to soak up the Are you sauna. guys going to be at the office for a bit or what's up? I'm going we're going to the sauna and then most likely I'll be up here within the next couple hours. All right, cool, cool. Cuz I got to edit I got to edit myself. I got to edit some things. I got to Yeah, I wanted I was going to tell you too cuz I was already thinking that like um I mean we keep saying that we're going to use the camera and explore with it and whatnot and then like learn to edit but we haven't but i really think we should because then we can like get like those 30 second clips and shit like that well here's the thing though we, we don't need a video from to do, Bash to do we just need a screen recording we we don't need a camera we everything we've done has been all the videos that we've done ourselves have been on the phone and you can't even tell right that is crazy because phones just work really well. And yes, the sun. Most most platforms that we view things to crush it down to like 1080 for the most part anyway. Well, yeah. even if it's 4K, it's not true 4K. No, even like Facebook brings it down to 720 and then yeah. uh, somewhere else I was reading brings it down even lower than that. Yeah. And then StreamYards won't even – StreamYards doesn't even let you pr put anything out over 720. Right. That, that's one of the reasons I went to Zoom because Zoom would let you do 1080. That's, I'm actually – so because when I do, like, my live stream shows, I have a 4K, like, YouTube downloader where it just takes, like, my YouTube link. But I'm honestly thinking about – because it, it – I mean, it obviously compresses it down into a, a smaller file and whatnot. 
Um, but I'm thinking about recording now my live stream so I can actually record it in 4K and put up there. But it, I mean, that's just it's gonna be a huge ass file. Yeah, you can use OBS to record it through even and get the full 1080 well, and 4K. I use Streamlabs and OBS. Better. Can I you can mm -hmm. I can I record Streamlabs is, is Streamlabs you have to is, put it in for like streaming video games more so than doing what we do. No, I I use OBS. It's you, Streamlabs OBS, but it's I know. Okay, so straight what Streamlabs Labs does is it takes OBS and it makes it simpler. Yeah. Yep. So you, yeah, I can right uh, over here on OBS. I can do everything that you can do. It's just I have to learn how to do it. Oh, whereas, sure, the record button. Whereas, mm -hmm. uh, no, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of things that you can't do over there that you can do over here in OBS. Well, I just got to learn how to do them. Like in my, yeah, there's a lot of playing you can do with OBS. There's a record button down here next to go live. Yep. I got a stream button. I go a oh, record button. Oh man, I'm sorry. I haven't been doing that. Yeah, okay. Where you start your virtual webcam? I was trying to. I was on Hook's channel yesterday. He was trying to figure OBS out, and he. I couldn't talk to him verbally, so it was a very frustrating thing going on here. He's. I. I'm like, dude. All you got to do is this, and then he's. He's like, I don't understand. And I <laughs> it can be very confusing at first, especially when you start talking like stream keys and like things like that. Well, you can do a lot of things like when you when you can cut up, cut your, you know, I got my camera a circle right now. You mm -hmm. know I mean? There's all sorts of things you can do. Yeah. Hey, fuck John Jordan. Yeah, John, fuck Johnson. John Jordan. John Johnson. Oh, John Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who that fucker was. He was a troll. I know. He he did like that one song though. He did. I was, I was probably one of his homies. <laughs> <laughs> it probably was. All right, guys, it's that time. Hit me up after you guys leave the sauna. Okay, I'll, I'll call you. <laughs> you think? Peace. Bye, guys. Love you guys. I'm talking to you. I <laughs> hit me up after you leave the sauna. Not you, bitch. Oh, peace out, doggies. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Love y'all. Brought to you by Brain Jerk. Fuck yeah. Uh, I'm with my people, man. I'm with the gang. Uh, my heart hurt. I can't help but sing.